flown 205 knots. The SP Gray, the one defined, has flown uh, close to 250 knots. Uh, and, and we feel like we, we've proven that technology can, can achieve that speed. Um, quiet. The prop on these aircraft is not quite critical. So if it gets damaged or, or you know, shot, you know, somehow damaged and quits working, you just fly home at 160 knots. So, or, you know, in a, in a landing sequence. You know, so it's, so it's survivable. It's much more survivable. Uh, highly, highly maneuverable and agile. Um, again, with the, with the modular open systems approach, the MOSA, you know, we feel like, you know, this, this aircraft, this technology is going to allow for rapid interchange of technology and capability on and off the aircraft. You know, Sikorsky, Lockheed Martin also has quite a pedigree of autonomous capability. Uh, as you know, we, we've flown a fully autonomous Blackhawk this past year at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. We've also got, uh, you know, on our, mat our matrix technology, you know, a lot of uh, pedigree as far as autonomy. And we feel like in the future, there will be some, uh, some need for a level of autonomy. Obviously that's up to the customer to decide what level. We've demonstrated full autonomy, but in the end, reducing the pilot workload in a very complex environment. You know, the use of, of air launch defects with these aircraft, ALEs, uh, that's going to bring in situational awareness and then the connected aspect to F-35, the Joint Fires Network. There's going to be a tremendous amount of, uh, of information coming into the cockpit. And so we believe some level of autonomy will be required to help reduce that, that pilot workload. But again, uh, up to the customer. So again, it's a complicated airspace uh, against a complicated threat and lethal threat. But we do believe that X-2 technology really addresses the need uh, for, you know, that the, the, this highly demanding environment, you know, is, is asking for.